Hi, my name is Alex with Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about the Team Field in Jira. This is a Jira Premium feature, so you're going to want to make sure you're using Jira Premium, but there's actually some really cool things that you can do if you have this feature, this field available to you. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free for you. All you got to do is smash that little red button and it tremendously helps out the channel. Make sure you, if you get value out of this video that you also drop a like as that also does help out the channel. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, so if you just want to say hello, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, I have a merch store. And so I got t-shirts, got Jira. If you like this kind of shirt, I have a couple of other designs. Check out the link in the description below. Buy one, buy them all, buy some for your coworkers, geek out, nerd out, have some fun with it. And most importantly, support the channel. Really appreciate you. And now let's jump into the video. All right, so in Jira, you may have noticed that you have a team available to you. If you go to people, there's your teams. And you can create a team, but this is not what we're talking about today. Avoid this. Do not big X. Do not click on people and team. This is not what we're defining today. What we're talking about today is under plans. You can come down to view share teams. And in here, in this section, you can then create a team here and you can define your team. And so I already have a couple of teams defined, but you would put the name of my team. And when you hit that, a team is created. And as you can see, they're available here. Now, once they're available, you can't do anything with them until you enable a very specific field in Jira, appropriately named team. And so next I'm going to show you how to do that. You want to go to basically back to your project, go to any project that you're that you're going to want to do this in and first confirm that it's not already there. It's on the, usually on the right hand side and it would say team. Now, as you can see, it's not here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project settings. And now before we get too far, you will need to have the right admin privilege to do this because you need to go add a field to the screen, which is usually reserved for the Jira admin site admin, somebody like that. So make sure you have the right power and we're going to come over to screens. So you got to expand issues, go to screens. And then for the issue type or for whatever you want, you're going to come in here and you're going to expand the issue screen. Now, again, you got to do this for every screen that you have for every issue type, depending on again, how you're set up. Otherwise it's only going to show up somewhere. Type in team. You'll see that it pops up and that's pretty much it. You can move it on up or down. It doesn't really matter. This kind of just alters where it shows up when you hit create. Once it's in there, you can do one of two things. You can go back to your project and you can open up an existing issue. You will now see the team field here, or you can click the create button and then you'll see that there's a team field in here somewhere. Just got to find it. Here it is. So then this is the team field. Now, how you get the values in there is that first step where we go and define the team. So when you create the team and you basically define that team, you will then be able to come in here and they will show up. So all the teams that are defined in that share team section from earlier will show up here. And all you got to do at that point is click on it. And basically this issue now belongs to this team. Now, why would you want to do this? Why is this important? Why is this useful? And so the team field allows you to basically group work by team, which is really, really important if you have different like cross-functional teams collaborating together. And so you can have an epic that is a cross-functional epic that's going to require various teams to kind of come together and contribute to deliver the overall epic. And so each of those stories can then be broken down a little bit more team specific. And you now have the luxury, <laughs> the privilege of assigning that story to that team who can then take that story and decompose it, refine it, groom it, whatever they're going to do, estimate it and plan it into their sprints. But as at the macro level, you can still see and, and have visibility into the high level stuff without having to worry about the details because the individual teams will do it. And this team feels kind of cool. If you go and look at it and I just find it for somebody, I'm just going to pick a share team here and I'm just going to go data team. Once you use it, it's actually an interesting thing, right? So it be, it, you get this little special icon and you get these little ET fingers. But this thing is now queryable. I do want to caution you though. This is only in a, like a JQL search, right? But you can now go to your advanced search here and you can switch to JQL and you can put like team and you'll be able to click on it. 
equals, and then you can click on that data team and it'll convert it to a number. This, this is fine. This is totally cool. Memorize this number if you're going to be doing this a lot. And now you can just find the issues that belong to that team. As you can see, these three issues belong here. So what can you do with that? Well, now you can create filters and, and dashboards that are team specific. So you can break them down by assignee. You can break them down by status, due date, all these other kind of things, right? You can basically get some insight into what's going on with that team. Also, you can now create specific boards for each team. So rather than having a ton of Jira projects here, there, and everywhere, you can alter your filter query to include team equals X. And now you know exactly which team is working on what. You can give them some autonomy. They can go and plan their sprints, be free to have that creator freedom to be able to do and execute their work, but still kind of keep, be like the puppeteer, if you will. You can still kind of keep tabs on everybody. So this is a really, really cool field. If you're not using it already, highly recommend you check it out. If you're not on Jira Premium, not sponsored or anything, but it's this is kind of worth it, right? This kind of makes it worth a little bit. This in conjunction with the advanced roadmaps, the sandbox, all the other functionalities that you get for being on the premium version of Jira. But I really, really like this. Now, I will end this video with saying you don't have to do this. You can actually create, if you don't want to double your expense, you can actually just create a custom field and then just put the teams manually in there. The only drawback is you have to go to the site admin or Jira admin to be able to add new teams. But once they're set up, they're there and they basically work the same way, same mentality. You'll have to create your own field instead of being able to use the out of the box team field. So your mileage is going to vary there. I actually prefer the latter. I prefer making my own custom field because uh, let's face it, paying double the price is not always worth it. So anyways, again, I'm not sponsored by Atlassian, so I can say these kind of comments. So if you don't want to double it, use your custom field. But if you are already paying for it, you might as well take advantage of it because you're already paying for it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, 80% of you aren't, please make sure you smash that red button. It's completely free to you. No cost to you. Super easy for you to do. All you guys just click that red button and it tremendously helped the channel out. So please make sure you do that. Also check out the merch store in the link below. Buy one, buy many, buy them all. Buy some for your coworkers, buy some for your family. Help support the channel. These t-shirts, I, I really like them. I got a bunch coming out. I have like five or six right now available, but they're cool little statements and I hope you enjoy them. I hope you find them funny, clever, <laughs> and I hope you buy a, a couple. And uh, thank you again so for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.